Hi, in this video I'll be sharing with you all that I've made in the month of June and if that's something of interest to you, please stay tuned. Hi lovely people, welcome to my channel Josie here and hope you're well and I would like to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you for joining me here and for my old subscribers. Thank you for tuning in and staying with me. And today's video I wanted to show you what I've sold up in the month of june i've made a few items here and there a few might have popped up on my instagram if you follow me over there i'll add the handle to my instagram which is still it is josie as this channel name but other than that i'll show you the items i've made in the month of june the first items i made unfortunately i don't have them here with me they, are, they were presents for friends of mine who had had babies and i showed you a few of them in the May next video, but I'd made them in June with a pair of baby leggings. I'll try to attach an image here. And that's a free pattern by Patterns for Pirates. They've got a free adult pattern that's for ladies' leggings pattern called the Peg Legs. Then, yeah, the kids' version is called Petite Pegs. And it's a free version that runs, I think, from zero to two years. I could be wrong. And I like that they come together so well, so fast, and you don't need elastic that you use the same fabric for the band. They come together pretty fast and they would be the ideal present for people who have had babies in your life and they're such a scrap a good scrap buster so you don't need a lot of it to make that that's what i made i will attach an image here and i made this particular jumper this particular one in may for my daughter and that was a minova make and i love this fabric so much because it's ultraviolet reactive in other words it changes color when it's exposed to the sun and this is not what I made. I made another one for my daughter's friend at school. She had a birthday and she loves bunnies so much. I remember when I was making it for my daughter, she was like, Oh, I wish this was for this person. She loves bunnies so much. So I decided to make her with whatever I had left over because I squeezed this out. I had a meter. I squeezed this out of my meter and I had enough to make the same exact size. And I made a basic jumper, a girl's jumper. However, for our friend's jumper, I only used this nude opel pink blush pink for all the bands because i didn't have much of it remaining so i made this and i like that it changes color and the sun has gone down so this some tan yellow blues and pinkish i'll try to attach an image but i i showed you this in detail in my may mix video and i made size eight so i made the same exact size for a friend and this is was the sloan sweater by love notions it comes with a few other additions. You can make it with a rounded bottom, make it longer, omit the band at the bottom, then add some sleeve patches, but I decided to go basic. Then you also have a yoke. You can use a yoke to color block. But I added a basic jumper. Sometimes when I'm making clothes for kids, I don't go all in because I know they outgrow them super fast. So I don't go through it. I don't go into the detail of adding all those little nitty-gritty. I would rather do that for adult clothes that I know I'll wear for quite a while. Yeah, let me show you my other make. And this is also an interesting one. I made another gymnastics costume for my daughter. Since she started doing gymnastics about three years ago, I'm counting last year where nothing happened, all the gyms were closed. I've been making her gymnastics costumes, and I could say most of the clothes I make are they are pretty much cheaper buying them than making them but i must say the gymnastics costumes are the one things that i make that are cheaper to make than buying them if you are thinking that some of us sew clothes because it's cheaper no it isn't it's just a hobby that you fall in love with it and you'd rather invest in that to make clothes that fit you right and that's why i sew because i was struggling to get clothes that fitted me in the stores and this i made using the jali pattern 2792 i'll try to attach the image here or find it and probably i'll i'll link all the patterns and the fabrics that i'm talking about in the description box below pop in there to see them and this is a jali pattern i bought the pdf version in the past i've used another i couldn't remember i've made her two gymnastics costumes before in the past and i used the nylon lycra fabric that i had in my stash and this is such a scrap buster you just need a little bit and it has so many seams it has a seam in the back you see that middle seam it allows for a lot of color blocking and i like that it has just a rounded neckline the i made one that has a full wrap that had a full wrap like this dress 
in the past but i realized i had to do a lot of cover stitching and i sold it up pretty much with my cover stitch machine and overlocker and i like the cover stitch hems and i did the same with the elastic and i have some other leftover fabric from my previous gymnastics costumes and i hope to make another and i made size eight and i decided to go with three quarter sleeves because it's around summer time i never make short sleeve gymnastics costumes because the gyms in the UK rarely get as warm. And she has a very fast competition next week. I think I might give in and make another colorful costume because it's a fast competition and I'm just that happy mom and I'm glad that we're allowed to go in and watch them because we've not been able to do that at all with the current situation. So we always drop them off at the door and pick them up at the end. And yeah, that's the Jali pattern. It, most of their patterns come in PDFs and also paper patterns. And also what I found with Jali patterns, most of their patterns, the t-shirts, the gym, the costumes, the leotards, they come from, they run from kids sizes to adult sizes. So if at all that's something of interest to you, most it with their t-shirts, you buy that one pattern that you will make for everybody in your family. Yeah. And let me show you my other make. Probably I could show you this dress. I made it also a few weeks ago, but I'll try to attach images of the complete outfits or clips where I'm able to. And I made the lyric dress by Love Notions. I've made this pattern before and I was really excited about this. I've received so many compliments every time I step out wearing this dress. It's a gorgeous dress. The sizing of the lyric dress has been updated. It now runs up to size 32 from size zero or size from size zero. And I sewed up size 2 all throughout. However, with Lab Notions patterns, I should have made size 2 at the bust, size 2 at the waist, and size 4 at the hips. However, this dress is quite, it's not fitted around the waistline and there are no ties whatsoever. So I decided to keep it at size 2 because I didn't want a bit of bulk. There's a bit of room. I was skeptical about taking it in fully just in case it came off so tight because it has no elastic cost. Tight, so I decided to leave it a bit loose. It's not as loose. I'll show you an image of what it looks like on me But actually I love it. This dress comes either with a gathered skirt or a tempered skirt And this is a tempered skirt which comes with slash pockets on the sides and I love them And it comes with so many sleeve options about sleeve of four or five sleeve options This time I went with a sleeveless one. I made sure clap sleeves before their short sleeves then their bishop sleeves and also a sleeve with a ruffle and also hack this dress you can either make it knee length or just below the knee so i hacked it to be a knee length skirt which i shortened by an inch then i added a simple ruffle to it with the whatever fabric i had left over it has a loose skirt that's not it's not too much gathered because i didn't have enough fabric but i also didn't want it so bulky and i used this gorgeous cotton poplin which is an art color fabric i received from minova i've showed it to you before i think i showed it to you in my june mix plan sewing plans video and i actually love the dress i'm going to attach images and probably a clip of me in this dress and you see what it looks like i love it the fabric is gorgeous and now that the sun is returning it had disappeared for a number of days but now it's returning I'll probably wear it tomorrow and it's a gorgeous dress. It looks like those dresses you want to pick up in the store and you look at the price and like, no, I can't pick it up. And I finished it up with red bias binding and I went with these matte buttons, red matte buttons I pick up from eBay. If you're interested, just ask me, I'll show you a link. And I found this particular seller has so many colors and different sizes of those plain matte buttons. And that's what I made. That was size size two. And also actually all Love Notions patterns come with full bust adjusted pieces. But this particular pattern comes with cup sizes ranging from size cup A, B, C, and D. And I went with cup a and actually the sizing when you look at their sizing sheet it shows you which cup you should choose that's the difference between your upper bust and your full bust so that helps you gauge under which cup you lie or fall into so i managed to sew it up and actually get a lot of compliments every time i wear it and i love it and for my other make you've seen it on my channel if you've been watching my videos and i recorded a sew along of this border dress it looks like a plain dress, but I will attach a clip and a, a picture of what it looks like. And it's a dress that I was happy to play around with the 
stripes and I chose a linen viscose blend which I was gifted by Fabrics for All because I'm a, a blogger out there so they give me fabric to review and I love this fabric it has a loose weave it's quite airy and want to keep you cool in the warm months it has a square neckline both front and back and it also features ties in the back which you tie in the at the front I'm going to show you an image and this was border 107 dress from the May issue, May 2021. And this particular version, the 107 came with bishop sleeves, but I omitted those and I made the version 106, which was meant to be a midi dress, but it had short sleeves. So I got the short sleeves from 106 and I just used them on this dress. However, after sewing it up, I sold size 36, which is the smallest at most of Butter Style magazine patterns come in. And which is my size but I needed I found that it was so roomy on the outside so I took it in I think I took out a total of four inches on the side I record everything they sew along and actually if you've been scared of sewing but I sell magazines I simplified that I recorded a long detailed tutorial on how you identify your pattern your sizing how you trace it off and also how you add seam allowance i'll add the links to those videos in the cards above here and also in the description box below i recorded a two-part series and the first one was identifying your pattern tracing it off adding seam allowance then the second was the complete sew along of this dress and actually if you can't get your hands onto the magazine itself but after the magazines have been published, they sell them also as individual patterns. And the beauty with the individual patterns, it, you don't have to trace it off a, a maze of patterns. You just get that individual pattern. But I think you still have to add seam allowance by yourself, which shouldn't be a big deal if the tracing part has been taken away from you. And I love this dress and I'll attach everything in the description box below. And this was one my other make and some of my almost final makes last but not least nighties or pjs for myself and my missy and i made the lunar lounge wear pieces by love notions and i made that nighty dress it's a cami dress i'll try to attach the lines drawing so i understand what it looks like and that particular pattern comes with the coordinating girls pattern you can either make it as a slip dress or a cami top with shorts or capris and the same exact features and options come with the girls pattern so i've made the dress before for myself and it's meant for knit fabrics although the trousers the capri and the shorts can be either made with knit fabrics or woven fabrics and i decided to make a cami top for myself and also this pattern comes with a shell bra which can be made just as a bralette on its own or you can add a shelf bra in your top so and that's what i did i added a shelf bra underneath to give some containment to the girls which is always a nice feeling if you're walking around and so i made this kami top out of this cotton jersey fabric it's a gorgeous fabric at gallery fabric which i received from minova it has hearts and i also added a decorative detail i used a cover stitch machine my cover stitch machine on reverse on the hems of both the what I made my daughter and mine and I like that I went with the deep pink to bring out the deep pink that's all around the flowers if you may tell and I like this top I like the the nighties and I made matching bottoms I didn't want to make ones in jersey so I decided to use a lightweight cotton I had some gingham sia saka fabric in my stash i've had for a while so i decided to make the bottoms and i decided to go with something similar but not exactly the same fabric so these are made out of a woven fabric and i went with size small for the bottoms and i made size extra small for the top and i used you can either use the same fabric as a binding for the sleeves but i went with fold of elastic i had in my stash which matches beautifully so I used fold of elastic for the sleeves and then I wear it to the matching shorts I'll try to attach an image of it on me and then for my daughter I made a slip dress she always asks me for night dresses but you don't get to wear them much in the UK that even in the summer it gets pretty cold I'd rather she wears full PJs but I made at least one I went with size 8 she's just 7 but 
when I'm making such things, I love to make them a bit longer so she can wear them at least two years. She won't wear it all year round. She will only wear it for the few weeks of summer we get in the UK. So I would rather make sure that I have more wears out of it. And it's exactly like mine. I just went with a narrower fold of elastic, which really looks cute. And I also went with a cover stitch detail from the bottom. She actually likes it. Sometimes I have to tell her to take it off when it's a bit cold because she, in her mind she knows it's summer, so she should wear summer nighties. And yeah, those were my mates. I went inside size eight for hers. And that's what I managed to make in June. And let me know which of these patterns were, or makes was your favorite or which pattern would you want to give it a go at sewing. And that's what I made. Please keep the comments coming. I love reading each and every comment you leave behind. And thank you for whoever takes off time to just comment and let me know what you like about my makes and the tips and the advice you leave behind. Otherwise, thank you for watching. And if you've sat through this video and you're not subscribed to my channel, you could go ahead and subscribe and also press the bell icon so YouTube notifies you whenever I upload new videos. Until next time, bye.